Road cases are designed for the job of transporting sensitive equipment like musical instruments and audio systems. These wheeled trunks are tough on the outside with cushy foam on the inside. With road cases, the gear arrives intact and ready to rock and roll. Behind every superstar, there's plenty of this custom luggage. Each case is designed for a particular piece of equipment, like an audio mixing console. The case is being made to measure. They load the dimensions of the audio console into a computer and then design a virtual case around it using three-dimensional software. Once a customer approves the computer blueprint, they're ready to build. Workers roll adhesive onto thick birch plywood. They coat the entire sheet. The plywood is now ready to receive a thermoplastic outer skin. They align the thermoplastic with the adhesive coated plywood and lower it into place. They feed the thermoplastic and plywood layers to rollers that squeeze out any bubbles for an airtight bond. Then the heat from this hot press activates the adhesive and it cures for an even better bond to the plywood. The result is a laminated thermoplastic plywood sheet. Next, a computer-guided router carves through the laminated sheet, following the design drawn up in cyberspace. This produces the exterior panels, each one precisely sized for the audio console case. The router also cuts out holes for latches and other fittings. A worker pieces together the panels to form the basic carcass of the case. He tacks them together temporarily with a staple gun. He'll join them permanently with extruded aluminum trim. He preps the aluminum edging by punching rivet holes in it at strategic locations. He also cuts notches for bending it around corners. He's now ready to install the aluminum trim. He can actually bend the corners by hand for a perfect fit. The edging gives the case a tailored look and, once riveted to the panels, it will hold it together. He drills through the holes in the trim to make corresponding holes in the laminated plywood. He inserts rivets into the holes. These rivets have mandrels attached to them. He drives those mandrels through the rivets, causing them to expand around the drilled holes and secure the trim to the trunk. With the job done, the mandrel breaks off and is disposed of. With the case now held together by the metal trim, he rivets the latch to it. And then it's on to the inner framework. The plywood parts have also been cut with computerized precision, designed to hold that audio console. He reinforces a piece called a cheek with a thick block of wood. This cheek is one of two that will cradle the audio console. He bulks up the wide end with plywood copies of the cheek's contoured profile, gluing them and nailing them to the main part so this reinforcement job holds. He spray paints the cheek substructure black, giving it a durable, textured finish. He fits the cheeks in the case, one on each side, and bolts them into position. Another worker hot glues blocks of foam, each specifically cut to fit together like pieces of a puzzle as he installs them in the case. All this padding will cushion the impact of any bumps on the road or backstage jostling. He even covers the top of a plywood drawer made for a keyboard. They slide the audio mixing console into the case to try it for size. From start to finish, it's taken about three hours to make this road case. 
it should last for as long as the audio equipment does. But it all depends on how rough it gets on the road.